Metamorphosis of Narcissus, 1937, is Dali's genius interpretation of the 2,000-year-old Greek myth of Narcissus, recited by Ovid. Here's the story. Narcissus was a beautiful youth who loved himself. No, it wasn't self-love. It was self-obsession and absorption, up to a limit where he fell in love with himself. He dismissed love proposals. When a beautiful nymph Echo fell madly in love with him, he spurned her. But Echo's love for Narcissus only grew. Once while sitting near a lake, Narcissus was so consumed by his self-reflection that he tried to embrace himself. Alas, he died of drowning. Echo mourned over his body. She does not hear her own in this story. However, her love for him is indeed an echo of his own self. She plays an active role in the metaphor. When Narcissus, looking one last time into the pool, uttered, Oh, marvelous boy, I loved you in vain, farewell. Echo too chorused, farewell. God immortalized Narcissus as the daffodil flower. The story of Narcissus has elements of desire, rather same-sex desire, which intrigued Dali. The golden brown figure seems to bow his head onto his knee. The figure's reflection can be seen in the water. There's a sense of heartache in this form. Is this Narcissus? The egg face portrayal of Narcissus is intentional. In fact, Dali's rendering of Narcissus is gender neutral. The self-absorbed figure has this fiery golden glow almost as if the figure is about to erupt. Just beside Narcissus is another figure, having the same stance as Narcissus, but with a completely different meaning. The cracked egg-shaped figure looks stony and barren. The ants are floating around the fingers depicting death and decay, a recurring theme in Dali's paintings. Oh, wait. The Narcissus flower sprouts through it. What does it mean? I'll come to it in a moment. When Dali made a rough sketch before getting this painting on canvas, he juxtaposed both figures. Why two exact figures then? This was Dali's critical paranoia technique, which he developed in the 1930s. It was carried out in Dali's masterpiece, The Persistence of Memory. The painting was set in a realistic Catalonian landscape where Dali lived and created a lot of his portraits. A set of melting or soft watches is scattered throughout the composition. The melting clocks symbolize the passing of time as one experiences it in sleep or the persistence of time in the eyes of the dreamer. A melting watch hangs over a dead olive tree, symbolizing the political upheaval in his country, Spain. Franco's fascist regime destroyed Spain. The orange colored pocket watch is filled with ants, which signify death and decay. The figure in the center of the composition seems to be a dreaming woman with thick eyelashes. This figure exactly matches the rock formations in the left panel of Bosch's painting, The Garden of Earthly Delights. Or maybe it's just a dead walrus. Through the critical paranoia technique, Dali explored the multiple perceptions of the world. While he took no external drugs for this process, self-induced psychotic hallucinations were created to produce art. The surrealist scholar Don Adez says, it's like a systematic misreading of the world around you according to an overriding obsessional idea. Just behind Narcissus, some of the same sex people are dancing. Is it Dali's portrayal of homosexuality and desirability? In the extreme right background, a figure is standing on a pedestal. Is it a lone chess piece on a chessboard? Maybe that is the point. Narcissus absorption in himself is like a chess game with no opponent. When Dali got a chance to meet Sigmund Freud through their common friend and Austrian author, Stefan Zweig, he didn't miss the opportunity. Since Dali joined André Breton's surrealist movement, he yearned to meet Freud. Like many surrealists, Dali was tremendously influenced by Freud's writings on the unconscious, sexuality, and dreams. He had already traveled to Vienna several times, but failed to make an introduction with Freud. But this time, he traveled to London with Zweig and carried his painting, Metamorphosis of Narcissus. According to Dali, the meeting didn't go as he expected. In fact, Freud didn't pay the slightest attention to his painting. But in reality, Freud was more impressed than Dali feared. The day after the meeting, 
Freud wrote to Zweig, I really have to thank you for the introduction which brought me yesterday's visitors, for until then I was inclined to look upon the Surrealists, who have apparently chosen me as their patron saint, as absolute, let's say 95%, like alcohol, cranks. That young Spaniard, however, with his candid and fanatical eyes and his undeniable technical mastery has made me reconsider my opinion. So what does the Narcissus flower sprouting from the cracked egg signify? Dali translated this visual art piece into a literary poem, which goes like this. Narcissus, in his immobility, absorbed by his reflection with the digestive slowness of carnivorous plants, becomes invisible. There remains of him only the hallucinatingly white oval of his head. His head again more tender. His head, chrysalis of hidden biological designs. His head held up by the tips of the water's fingers. At the tips of the fingers of the insensate hand, of the terrible hand, of the mortal hand, of his own reflection. When that head slits, when that head splits, when that head bursts, it will be the flower, the new Narcissus Gala. My Narcissus. I had goosebumps when I reread the highlighted lines. Dali's interpretation of Narcissus metamorphosed into a flower is predictable and relatable to the myth, but Dali has compared the flower to his life partner and wife, Gala, portraying a heterosexual relationship. What's left is a corpse and a dog feasting on it. This painting is an excellent study of death, discomposure, and loss. A portrayal that even the most beautiful is lost and decomposed in the end, and out of it arises something more beautiful, a flower over the egg-shaped skull. What does it mean to you? Let us know in the comments. If you like our videos, consider supporting us on patreon.com slash frame of reference. And thank you to our active patrons. Subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any videos from our channel. Frame of reference.